Oh, there are many, many steps. So this, this morning I was uh, talking about uh, auto, automotive uh, driving. That's one of the big chap uh, chapters of our uh, industry, including this uh, big uh, connectivity um, uh, chapter. So the, one of the big next steps is for us uh, to achieving uh, a regulatory framework which is in fact fac facilitating um, uh, the, uh, the engineering work of, of us, the suppliers of course, of the car manufacturers and, and many other uh, uh, stakeholders. We need also um, achievements, first achievements in, in the area of, of standardization. So we were talking about uh, connectivity. I think this is for us ex extremely important that, that we all are working uh, together apart from all these uh, tremendous investments our uh, sector is, is doing in, uh, towards uh, automotive driving, which is already announced in, by 2020 going to uh, level 3, a high, uh, highly automated uh, uh, cars, where we are working uh, a lot in the area of, uh, of, of sensing technologies and then uh, algor algorithms uh, managing all this and then the, the actuations. That's also the other part of it. But for us it's extremely important that uh, the stakeholders which are involved are having a, a common framework which is simplifying the, the work for everybody. Yeah, that's a very good question. So the con consumers, uh, half of them, they are, they are in the lighting and then, uh, or there's the other half which, which are a little bit more reluctant. Uh, and uh, I think we have to make a, a, a lot of um, public relations work in the way that we are demonstrating that these cars already today have the technology which is capable of, uh, of doing it. Of course, there's uh, c certain um, uh, issues that they are not always perfectly doing what they should do. But uh, also, I'm all always saying uh, in the safety area today we have uh, to accept and we are accepting it that uh, in 90 percent of the car crashes which are, which are happening and, and causing deaths and, and millions of uh, injuries we are accepting that the driver is nearly always the cause and now with automatic driving we are going to the other extreme I'm saying we we are expecting that 100 percent of the uh, that the cars have to be 100 percent reliable that's the other extreme and I think already the cars today could do better than a, a driver.